Hello Pelican Sound, I'm your head golf professional Tim Harris. Well, we're all excited to see the golf course reopening again. I know that us as a golf staff are looking forward to seeing all of you again, even if it is from a distance. Well, the reopening of the golf course obviously is gonna require all of us, you as members and us as staff, to follow social distancing guidelines that I'm sure you've heard a million times over by now. So it's gonna be no different out here at the golf shop and out here on the golf course. The golf shop will be open seven days a week from seven o'clock until two o'clock and will be manned by the golf shop to answer phones even though the doors will be locked. Starting May 4th, which is the first Monday of May, will be closed on Mondays, but the other six days a week will be here. Now, some of you may wonder how you can get a tee time. Obviously, use Chelsea like you've always been using. I know the first couple of times Chelsea would randomize the tee times so no one had any points. So it's just the luck of the draw if you got that out there on the golf course. But as we get for, go further forward, points are going to be an issue again. And that's how you're going to be able to get that out there out on the golf course. Now, since the pro shop doors are locked, some of you may remember before we closed down, we had the tee sheet posted out here at the starters booth. I'm standing out here at the cart staging area. We're going to continue to do that. Carts are going to be allowed out there, but it's going to be single cart riders, just like it was before we closed. And we're going to assign those carts to you on the T-sheet. So when you see your name on the T-sheet that's posted out there at the starter booth, look for your cart number, and that's what cart number will be assigned to you. You can see here we have uh, certain sections that are going to be throughout the staging area. These are the numbers of the cart. So let's say, for example, you had cart number 17. You would come over here to this section, and you would find your cart here, and that's your cart for the day. You're the only one that should be touching that cart. Our guys outside, Dave and Johnny and Patrick, they're gonna be out here cleaning and sanitizing the carts and then staging them out here at the staging area. And then you won't see them again. They're gonna be pretty much behind the scenes. So your golf cart will be out here. That's the one you're gonna be picking up. We ask that when you do play golf, you are the only one using that golf cart. You return the cart back to the staging area over at an area that I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. But the staging area is going to be try to be you know as organized as it can be we ask that you do stay six feet apart from each other when you're out here in this staging area the golf range and the chipping area the putting green are going to remain closed for now we may reopen them up again in phase two of our reopening here but right now they're going to be closed so we're looking for as the minimal amount of people as we can around this area so over at the starter booth you will have scorecards and pencils that you'll be able to grab over there on your own You'll see the T-sheet over there. That'll tell you what course you're gonna be going on. We're gonna have the course rotation posted up there as well, so you'll know what course you're supposed to go to. Tea times will start at eight o'clock in the morning, and they're going off in 10 minute intervals off of the A golf course. Nine hole play will go off of the C golf course starting at 11 o'clock, okay? So to recap that, come out here to the staging area. That's where you'll find your golf cart. You can always call the pro shop. <clears throat> or knock on the door and get one of us if you have any questions. I'm going to take you over to the staging area in the, uh, where you drop off the golf carts now so you can see where to return your golf cart after you played for, with it and where we clean and sanitize the carts. Okay, so you've played your round of golf and now it's time to return your golf cart that you used to the drop-off area where our guys can clean and sanitize them. Uh, you'll notice I'm standing on the west side of the parking lot over by the administration building right now. This is gonna be the area that we're gonna ask you to come take your cart. We will have you drop off your bag at your car and load your own bag into your golf cart. Uh, remove any trash or any of your personal belongings before you do return it to this area. Um, this is where our guys are gonna be. They're gonna be using masks and wearing gloves and doing everything they can to protect themselves. Uh, so when you do bring the cart over here, um, you'll see this area that's kind of roped off over here. Just kind of uh, park your cart take the key out of your cart and deposit it in the little uh, box we have over here and then you can just go on your way um, our guys are going to be out here cleaning and sanitizing carts putting them away at night in order for them to be used again the next day um, as a reminder if you are using one of our pelican sound golf carts an automatic three dollar gratuity will be placed onto your account um, just so the guys can have something there. They're not gonna be having any interaction with you when you're out there. You're not gonna get the normal service, unfortunately, that you're used to, um, but they are still gonna be here working, keeping the golf carts clean so that you can use them throughout your time here at Pelican Sound. Thanks.